Mexico. We'll bring them back to our shelters in Redwood City and Palo Alto. A lot of our public shelters, they don't have the space or the resources they need to save every animal. At Pets in Need, our community of generous supporters make that possible for us to go to great lengths to save any animal that we rescue. Today, we'll save animals that would otherwise be put down, like large breed dogs or really young kittens. We just arrived at one of the shelters in the Central Valley. We're gonna go ahead and walk on in and say hello to all the animals. We're gonna try to rescue as many as we can. Follow me. fosters who care for animals that aren't quite ready for adoption yet. These guys just came in from a partner shelter that we work with. They were examined by our medical team and now are awaiting their foster family to come and pick them up. Sometimes I do end up taking kittens home just because they require so much care. It can be quite a challenge. Sugar Ray came to us over the summer. He was orphaned and the only kitten in his litter to survive. I cared for him for about a week before he went into a foster home. Sugar Ray's foster mom chronicled his journey. 